For the meal that you can make for your family tonight, we're joined in studio by Chef Mark Pollard from Charleston Cooks. Thank you so much for being here, Mark. Once again, glad to be here <laughs> with my pal, the Al Capone of the microphone, JG. <laughs> the Al Capone of the microphone. I love that. That right should here. be a t-shirt. I think it should be. And um, our, our question of the day was, what is your favorite childhood cartoon character? My favorite childhood cartoon character has got to be, I love Foghorn Leghorn. I say, I say, I say son, look at that fish right there. <laughs> we had a lot of the, a lot of that on our, on our Facebook page. Yeah, so. everybody likes him. There he's he's go. a good guy. He's a good guy. So now to the important topic of the day, Food. what are you cooking? Yeah. <laughs> Today, you know, once again, this is from my Our Southern Kitchen series. Mm -hmm. And it's such a fun series to do because I'm going over all different types of food. I'm looking at all different styles, but it's all coming back to Southern. All we look at the history and where it comes from. I can't think of anything that's more Southern than a good fish fry. Right. And normally you're gonna use a white fish. It can be flounder, it can be tilapia, it can be catfish, whatever you can get. It's not an expensive fish. A lot fish. of people don't like fish because it's fishy. Like right. when you cook it, it smells like mm -hmm. fish. And it doesn't even smell like fish No, anymore. well that's the other thing, Jamarcus, about making sure that whatever you use is fresh. If, and, and I use a lot of local vendors when I'm shopping. Um, I had a great time this weekend. And we love weekend. you for it. Oh, oh yeah, I had a great time this weekend going to the TR market. I do stuff at the TD market. I go to Spartanburg. We I ran out all. there. I saw him at the market. It We're, was really happening right before the very It was happening at eyes. Traveler's Rest. So what we've got here, we've got some really nice tilapia today. Mm. It's an inexpensive fish, but it's a beautiful fish. It and smells it's delightful. great to use. Absolutely great. So we're going to cook this until it's about 130 degrees. So what does that mean? Until it's flaky. We don't okay. want to overcook. When you overcook fish, it tastes like a pencil. I eraser. was wondering. How, yeah, I was wondering how you figured that out. Like, how do you look at that and say that's about 130 degrees? Because I am a food wizard. That's how I do it. But uh, I'll use an instant read thermometer, or I actually do things by touch a lot, mm -hmm. and and that's a skill that we'll we can teach you. That takes a while to get to right. Make. But what I suggest to most people, keep yourself a good instant read thermometer. That will take care of everything that you need to do. You're looking to get dad something again for Father's Day? Maybe an instant read the It's wonderful, and they're so inexpensive these days. I mean, they're easy to deal with, but look at these fish. Now, we've got some color. Color beautiful. means flavor, so that's a beautiful thing. We'll, well how do you pull season, these little people How do you off. season these? I see Oh, the I'm hog glad dust. you asked that. You know how I love the Willie's Hog Dust, and <laughs> everything that we have in our store is South Carolina products. Yes. We use stuff from Blue Moon. We use uh, Willie's Hog Dust. I've talked to the folks at Nellie Tees. I mean, mm -hmm. all these wonderful people that we deal with, it's so great to do. So I will do, I will go ahead and season my fish first mm -hmm. because you can season your flour, but it's really better if you season the protein first and then leave the flour as it is. Uh -huh. So that way you get enough of everything <laughs> on every dish. That's why we love you. So, and you can't, yeah. you have to add a little hog dust on At top. At the end, you gotta have a little dust. So let's get that plate. Why don't you put some of our pickles on it? Now, I made those pickles in about 30 minutes. They're sweet, they're called bread and butter pickles. They're supposed to be. So we'll put a few of those on there. It's a beautiful, beautiful Isn't setup. that pretty? Good and what that does is so it, it kind of um, controls the sweetness because, or Ooh. excuse me, we've got sweetness here. We're gonna have savory there. I'm gonna put it right here so we can oh, get yeah. a shot of it. But we're not done. Look at that, isn't that pretty? Ooh. We'll add just a little bit of the remoulade on that. Just oh yeah, your homemade squirt. remoulade. Oh yeah, and see, that'll go great with those pickles. And then what we've got Ooh. is the perlu. Ooh. The perlu is like a risotto, and it's got a little bit of Parmesan cheese in it. We'll add some of that this with some beautiful, oh man, it's, it's incredible. It's a beautiful, beautiful dish. We'll add just a little bit of that. And it's so, so simple to make. I mean, it's now ready to go. But if that wasn't enough, as if there's more. As he if there's me more. Goes, yes, I stepped off. Can you handle the show till I come back? <laughs> hey, why not? Hey. I made all of this. Mark Pollard who? <laughs> <laughs> we don't need him. We're going extremely Southern. Ooh. So I've got a Cheerwine ice cream. Cheerwine's been around since 1917. Cheer wine ice cream. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> so we'll add a little bit of a homemade whipped cream. I just made a little whipped cream, a little powdered sugar, some heavy cream, and a little bit of cinnamon. And come on, oh. a little, little, little chocolate here. Oh, my Lord Jesus. And there you go, right before your very this eyes. It's got your name all over it. I'm gonna put it right there. People, if you, my, my producer upstairs <laughs> says she thinks it has her name on it. <laughs> I beg to differ, sweetheart. <laughs> Coming up in charlestoncooks.com has all the information about upcoming classes. If you want to learn some of these skills and get a one-on-one, -on -one, or maybe a one-on-20. -on uh, come on, I'm not afraid. <laughs> He'll teach you all the things you need to know. Again, charlestoncooks.com, located right downtown, 200 North Main Street. North Main Street. Right in downtown. Charleston Cooks, thank you so much for being here with thank us, Mark Thank you, my Pollard. friend. Thank you. I can't wait to try the cheer wine. I'll give it a, a taste test after the Somebody show. has to. <laughs> I, I volunteer. I volunteer as <laughs> tribute. <laughs>